Thank you for being here for the I Am Real Estate Show. I am Danielle, and we are missing both Sandra and Raymond. So it feels a little bit weird today, but I am not alone in the studio. We have Don Geisler, the CEO of Indie Realty. Hello, Danielle. And we have Jonathan Spur, the everything inspired life mortgage and chiropractic and all of that i don't know what all to call you it would just we're, we're just <laughs> we started using uh the the inspired life group since inspired life group yep, that's what we're that's what we're using right now inspired life group that is awesome there we go well thank you don and john for being here so that i'm not by myself because that would be really boring and lonely so <laughs> <laughs> it might be boring for you, but you're great on the radio, so it would it would come out great. I'm pretty sure with me sitting here talking to myself for an hour straight, everyone would start to wonder if I I talk, I talk to myself all day long, so I, <laughs> John has a lot of talents. He is here for his looks, his good looks. His exactly. Looks early. I mean, I'm the best looking voice on radio. That's no. right. <laughs> well, so John, what's going on with rates? What's going on in the mortgage industry? Uh, we've had a pretty big win in the last two weeks for mortgage rates. They have come down anywhere from three eighths to five eighths of a percent, um, which means they're significantly better than they were the beginning of October. And we're much more in the range of where we were uh, end of August, beginning of September. So uh, things are definitely more affordable when you when interest rates come down half a percent. That really helps affordability in buying a home. You know, I'm going to say I really appreciated that I found that out very quickly via Facebook because you made a post that everyone can see that rates have come down. And so if you're out there wondering what rates are doing, I suggest that they follow you on Facebook. You've got lots of good information there. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, all the fun uh, um, uh, social media that's out there. But what's really funny is... With Canva, it takes me all day to come up with one flyer, but as soon as <laughs> rates go down, I can get something out in 30 seconds. That's good. <laughs> good news is great to share very quickly. <laughs> that makes the phone ring. It's good stuff. It does. So, um, but yeah, no, it's been it's been great. I, I've got quite a few people that saw that post that had stopped searching. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, one of them called today and said, "Hey, I saw your post that rates went down pre-qualified, and um, she's going to be out looking for a house this weekend. And so I've I've seen a little bit of uptick in transaction in, in just the last few days when people saw that rates had come back down. They just had been sitting on the sidelines waiting for that, you know, magic thing to come out and happen. And if someone is wanting to do that now, you can get their rates locked in so that they can start looking. Yeah, so we, we have a, the ability to what's called lock and shop. And so you can lock now. You do have to find a, a property within 30 days and you have to close within 90. But you can lock in an interest rate before you actually have a property address. So for anybody who's on the fence, it's a really good time. Get that rate locked in and uh, then go take a look and see what's out there. Absolutely. Well, we're definitely so appreciative to have you know leaders in the industry, people that think out of the box and... Um, do you have any special programs and stuff like that going on? I, I know first-time buyers are always interested in in what you got out there, down payment assistance. What what is uh, where do you go in that kind of, kind of thing? So the the one program we have is called Empower, and it is a federal grant. Uh, I like grants more than down payment assistance. Uh, typical down payment assistance has some sort of second mortgage attached to the transaction, a time period that you have to stay in the home, so on and so forth. The grant money is truly free money. Uh, I like the Empower program because almost anybody can qualify for it. There are very few restrictions, um, and it's it's three and a half percent. So that's plenty of down payment for you to get into an FHA uh, loan. In FHA, you can borrow up to was it four hundred seventy thousand now. So I mean, you can get into a decent sized house with an FHA loan, and you can have your down payment given to you without any strings attached. Uh, it's just wonderful. There there are so many options out there, and. It's just so beneficial for people to be reach, reaching out to us in the industry who do it, you know, day in and day out every single day. And I, I, I'm very encouraged when I hear that people say, you know, they see your ad and they jump back in. And then it's discouraging to hear that people went to that position on the fence because even throughout everything that happens, whether the market is up or down or interest rates are up and down, we are constantly coming up with solutions, coming up with ideas. And there's just so much benefit to owning versus renting, or there's also so much benefit to making that move for your own quality of life, whether you've been deciding to upsize or downsize or whatever you're trying to do. 
there is no reason to just sit on the fence. There are lots of great programs out there, lots of creativity, and lots of options out there. No, I, I completely agree with you, and we've talked about it a lot. There's you know, a cost to waiting to, uh, from buying versus renting. Um, rents continue to keep going up. If you own a home, you fix your housing costs. Uh, but, but for me, I have, in my 30-plus year career, have tried to stay ahead of the curve and notice where things may be going and try to pre present those solutions to you guys and mm -hmm. to my customers before they may even be needed. But have a good understanding of where the market's going and what the different markets mean and what tools we have in the toolbox to use. Um, I had a lunch and learn. You didn't get to come to know, but your uh, Sandra was there. And they asked, uh, why am I you know, so gung-ho about FHA right now. And if you had asked me two years ago, it'd be oh, conventional, conventional only thing you want to do. But right now, FHA is the best product and the best tool in our toolbox to get people into a home and help with the affordability. And, and it just changes as the market changes, the different tools we have available change. And it's funny that you say that because there are some things where, you know, we, we all know have the tendency to be cynical about government programs and stuff like that. But, you know, to see programs out there that are government programs, FHA, et cetera, um, and have people that are working hard to make sure that the housing market, that the American dream is available to anybody who wants it, to the people that want it, and that uh, supports our industry, which is one of the key drivers in the economy. You know, it's really encouraging. There's, there's just so much great stuff out there. Yeah, I think FHA gets a bad rap. I think everybody thinks of FHA as something for low-income borrowers or they don't have down payment or they have bad credit and that just isn't what it is it's a phenomenal program that we can put quite a few people into a home but they it has this negative attachment to it because of the government program and i don't want to ruin this for everybody but guess what fannie and freddie have been owned by the federal government since <laughs> 2008 so they're basically all federal programs they are and they they are designed to open up doors to home ownership to people and to um, assist in the, in the housing market and ensure that that key driver of the economy keeps on rolling, and it does. And there are so many uh, people just working so hard on the front lines and behind the scenes, you know, to make things happen. I had that conversation this week. Um, my kiddo is 21 years old, and I actually had the legit in detail conversation with him this week about renting versus buying. And I can tell you right now in this snapshot in time, it is a far better value for him to be considering buying a home than, than renting. Yeah, a couple of years ago, my middle daughter, Kendall, was in at the U of A and working part-time and in a cruddy little apartment for $600 a month. And she called me and said, my lease is up and my rent's going to $1,300. i am like, no, it's not. We're buying you a house. Oh, yeah, and absolutely. I mean, that's just what we did. We went and bought our house, a two-bedroom, two-bath, thousand-square-foot townhouse. Our payment's 1400 bucks a month. And I shoved her in there. I'm like, this is... No way I'm going to pay $1,300 a month rent on a 500-square-foot apartment. Not happening. It's absolutely crazy how, just how everything has gone up so much in the last couple of years. It's, it really is a time, if you haven't thought about it before, it is the time to start thinking about buying. It is and unreal. Those $600 a month days are gone for, for oh, sure. They, they won't <laughs> be back. That just doesn't yeah. exist anymore. Well, and I'll say that was definitely the single best investment that I have ever made. And I'm glad that I did that when I was 21. We are here on the I Am Real Estate Show. You are listening to Danielle, Don Geisler, and Jonathan Spur. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. 